How to create and sell NFTs on OpenSea in 2023 is a tutorial. Hello guys, welcome back to Software is Made Easy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create and sell your NFTs on OpenSea in 2023. So without any delay, let's get into the video. So first of all, I have OpenSea.io open for me right here. And as you know, OpenSea is a great and the world's biggest marketplace for NFTs. Here you can explore, collect and sell your NFTs in a very easy manner. So how you can basically create NFTs on OpenSea and how you can become a seller on OpenSea and how you can sell your NFTs on OpenSea while in 2023, are there any app uh, website updates? Are the, you know, is the method still the same or are there any changes in everything? So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial and it will be a quick and easy tutorial for you guys. So uh, let me just show you how it works. First of all, this is OpenSea and this is their homepage. And as you can see, they have some amazing NFTs listed right here. And uh, the floor price for each of these NFTs is listed here. Like floor is 0.35 Ethereum for this Nina super cool world. And as you can see, these are the trending NFTs. Um, these are the trending collections right now, uh, right here. And the floor prices for these are also there. Then there are their notable collections. Then there are their cat NFT spotlight, any specific NFT nfts that are in spotlight will be listed here and then there are there is nft 101 where you can just come and see if there is something you know if there is a question uh, that you need to get answer for like what is an nft what is a crypto wallet what are block chain gas fees uh like the basics of the whole platform or and about the nfts then you can browse by category so these are basically the categories of nfts that you can buy from and that you can sell so uh, we have art we have music we have trading cards we have collectibles we have photography we have utility we have domain names and sports and virtual worlds so these are all the nfts that OpenSea uh, has and this is a really amazing platform for all the explorers collectors and sellers to sell their nfts so how you can basically create your nft on OpenSea? for that what you need to do is for the first thing that you need to do is you need to collect uh connect your wallet to your OpenSea. for that you need to click on this option right here which is wallet and then you need to click on that okay so now uh it has given me an option to connect my wallet i'm going to use metamask if you have any other wallet other than metamask you can just go ahead and connect that wallet with OpenSea. if you are a new user and you don't know what is a wallet and how to you know like get one you can just click on this metamask right here and i really recommend metamask because it comes as google extension and it is really easy to use you can just click on this option right here and it will take you to the chrome web store from there you can uh, install the metamask extension and then you'll be able to get yourself a new wallet you can just click on new wallet or make a new wallet or something like that and then you will be able to add in your password and make a password for yourself to basically save your wallet and you'll be able to get a new wallet and then you can just connect it with it so i'm I'm just going to quickly add in my password so that i can access my wallet and i can connect it to my open c okay guys so my wallet has been connected now what i need you to do is i'm just going to go on and i'm going to click on this profile option right here and from here you can see there is an option which says create so i'm just going to click on that option and i'm going to create an nft for myself and i'm going to show you how you can do that for that it is basically it is going to ask the wallet for um, to sign the transaction or something so i'm just going to wait until this process is done and then i'm going to show you guys what's the next step Okay, so this is an option where you are going to create a new item where you are going to create a new NFT for yourself that you're going to sell. So you can make image, video, audio, 3D model. You can just attach that here. And the file type supporter, JPG, PNG, GIF, and you can see there are a lot more. And the max size is 100 MB. So what we're going to do is we are going to just post a random picture because that's the NFT that I'm going to sell uh, today. So I'm just going to go into my pictures and I'm going to upload a sample picture, uh, just something, anything. Okay, let's say, i made this digital art which are basically two cherries and i'm going to upload this picture so this is my nft right here so this is what i'm going to sell after that you need to name your nft so i'm just going to name it cherry berry very uh, simple and very easily so th the name is cherry berry and this is the image of the nft that i have created that i want to sell and then you need to go on and see there is an option to add external link 
if you have any web page if you have any site if you have your twitter account related to your nfts or something you can just add that external link right here which will show up with your nft if you don't then you can just skip this option because that is not a necessary part then you have your description the description will be included on the items detail page underneath its image so you need to add a really good description for your nft because people are trying to get in more information about your nft will be the ones who are reading the, your description so it has to be concise but it has to be be detailed as well you don't have to go on and brag but you need to explain your nft in a really good manner that a buyer would know what you have created and why you have created and what was your inspiration and they also get inspired to buy it so you need to add a really good description for yourself so i'm not going to go into that uh, adding the description part right uh, now because i'm just this is a tutorial so i'm just going to show you i'm going to add simply something which says cherry is red and i'm not going to add anything else just don't do that but just make a very good description for yourself after that you need to add a collection so uh, your item will, will appear in collections in uh, on OpenSea, you basically create different collections and then in the collections you create different nfts you sell different nfts so for the collection uh, if you have any collection right here you can just go on and choose that if you don't you can skip this option as well and you, later on you can go and create another collection for yourself and then you can add your nfts into that later but i have a collection that i made uh, previously so i'm just going to add this nft of mine to that collection collection and later on i'll show you guys what's that and how you can make it all as well then you can add different properties to your nfts like if there are any textual traits that show up as rectangles if you, they have any properties like when you are making um different nfts like i'm making this cherry nft and i'm going to add it into the collection of cherry berry one two three five now if i have a similar nfts like this uh let's say 20 nfts which are uh, this like kind of this image but they are like different in color some images glitched some image has some kind of echo to it like uh, there are very small differences in those but they are of the same genre they're of the same uh, type they contain the same material so how you basically uh, differentiate them from each other then you add these properties levels and stats according to what is the property if this is a numerical trait that as a progress bar it is going to be a uh, here if it is a stat is a numerical trait that shows up as number it is going to be here so let's say i want to add a property that says my type is cherry and uh, it is red so i'm just going to uh, you know give th this property and you can add as many properties as you can so this uh, nft my cherry is red maybe there i create another nft and in there my cherry will be blue so i'm just going to add that as a property after that you need to add an unlockable content like you don't need to if you have to if if you have any kind of content that can only be revealed by the owner like is that kind of content that is provided after the person buys the nft then you can just open this option for you and you can add in the enter access key and code uh, or anything that you want to add and you can just uh, you know add that thing as well if it's your nfts for only 18 plus uh, audience then you can just cl click on this like turn this sensitivity option on too then you have your supply how many nfts are you going to supply like for each transaction so i'm just going to make it one and then you have your blockchain what blockchain are you going to use you can use polygon or ethereum it is completely up to you you can uh, both blockchains are really good you can just choose any one of them but i'm just going to use ethereum because ethereum uh, is what my wallet is currently um, working on so i'm just going to click on that after that you are going to click on create okay so after clicking on create your nft will be created and now you can just go on and see your collections i'm going to go into my collections and right here i have this collection for myself which is named cherry berry to create a new collection what you can do is you can just click on this option right here to create a collection and you have to add some details as well you have your logo image you have your features image you have your banner image you have name url you have description category you have links and blockchain and payment tokens and you need to have a display theme so these are all the things that you need to add to add make a collection for yourself it is also very easy process you have your logo of the collection then you have your featured image this will be the image of an nft that is going to be the uh, the first nft that is going to show up as a feature nft and then you have your banner image banner image let me show you how it shows up wait a second uh, let's say this is my uh you know collection that i have created this is my logo and this is my banner image these are the things that you need to add then i have my description i don't have i haven't added any description for myself my analytics are going to show here and activity is going to be showing my chain is ethereum and my items i don't have any item in it right now but where does your uh, feature image go when someone is going to see your collection like this this is your feature image so this person this um abstract painting right here this is my feature 
feature image so that's how you basically create a collection on OpenSea after creating a collection after adding you know after creating NFTs and adding that into collections you just create different uh, a marketplace for yourself on OpenSea and you can just uh, you know get it published on OpenSea and then you know people will reach it out you will be the basically the ones that are beginners and you'll be the ones that are like new art or something you can create something really good and you will definitely be rewarded and you will be noticed by different audience coming on to OpenSea because that's the biggest marketplace for NFTs and people who are basically just exploring around just uh, you know figuring out what to buy next are roaming around very freely around among here and they are definitely will go buy your product and they will buy it so this is how basically you create your NFT your collection and this is how you sell your NFTs on OpenSea so this was it for today's video I hope you guys found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video until then take good care of yourself and bye bye